Now let's consider quantization of the lattice vibration. quantization of elastic waves. The energy of a lattice vibration is quantized. The quantum of the energy as we have already discussed is called phonon. This is a boson that can be created and annihilated. That means if there is excitation, the, there will be phonons. If there is no excitation at all, there will be no phonon. And this is similar to the energy of elastic mode of an angular frequency omega like quantum harmonic oscillator. So the energy epsilon can be written as n plus half times h cross omega, the energy of an angular harmonic oscillator, quantum harmonic oscillator, where n is the number of phonons. If there is no phonon at all, that means n equals 0, we will still have some energy that is half h cross omega that is the zero point energy. We can quantize the mean square phonon amplitude, consider the standing wave mode of amplitude that is u equals u naught times cosine of kx times cosine of omega t. Here u is the displacement of a volume element from its equilibrium position. So if we assume the equilibrium position to be x, it is the displacement from x. So it is the displacement x from the equilibrium position in the crystal. And the energy in this mode, as in any harmonic oscillator, is half kinetic energy and half potential energy on an average, average over time, I mean. So the kinetic energy density can be expressed as half rho, rho is the mass density du times d, du dt squared. In a crystal of volume V, the volume integral of kinetic energy can be given as one over four rho v. V is the volume omega squared u naught squared sine squared omega t. The time average kinetic energy can be obtained as one over eight rho times v times omega squared u naught squared. How do we get this? 
because uh, the time averaged of sin squared omega t equals half. So, we get this quantity which is half n plus half h cross omega. So, the square of the amplitude can be written as u naught squared equals 4 times n plus half h cross over rho v omega. This relates the displacement in a given mode to the phonon occupancy n of the mode. So, after understanding this, let us move on to understanding the phonon momentum. A phonon of wave vector capital K will interact with particles such as photons or neutrons and electrons as if it had a momentum of h cross times k. In crystals, there exists wave, ve wave vector selection rule in the context of x-ray dispersion, uh, x-ray diffraction, we have found that k prime equals k plus g. This was the selection rule. in the context of wave diffraction. And these were the wave vectors k and g, these, these are wave vectors of electrons. This is what we have found. Now, the total wave vector of the interacting waves is conserved in a periodic lattice with the possible addition of a reciprocal lattice vector capital G that is allowed. So, the true momentum of the whole system is always rigorously conserved. That means, if the scattering of, the pho of a photon is inelastic that creates a phonon of wave vector capital K. So, if there is a photon that uh, scatters in is inelastically creating a phonon of wave vector capital K. Remember, we are talking about phonons with wave vectors capital K and electrons with wave vector small k. Then the selection rule will become selection rule for creation of a phonon. That is k prime, that is electrons wave vector plus capital K equals k plus g. On the other hand, if a phonon is absorbed in the process, then the selection rule is k prime equals small k plus capital K plus G. So, these are the selection rules for creation and absorption of phonons.